Hey, what's up, VC community? It's Daryl. I'm back again at the Washington 607. It's me, your boy. Um, uh, yeah, that's the second video I've done today. I figure I'd do a few more, then I can get them up there and take a little break, you know? So this is uh, my music collection. This is number four, I believe. Okay, guys, let's get started. This is Breaking It Up, Louis Prima, Keely Smith. You know Louis. Big, big band stuff. Early 40s and 50s. I believe they were husband and wife, if I'm not mistaken. But you guys should definitely check this out. Nice, good swing, big band stuff. Really gets you moving, tapping your feet there. So definitely. Louis Prima, Keely Smith. Up next. Gotta have my better Fleck and Fleck Tones, greatest hits of the 20th century. I love this band, one of my favorite groups there. Definitely check out Bella Fleck. And Jeff Coffin, right, where's Jeff? Oh yeah, Jeff Coffin. I think he's playing, he's been playing with the Dave Matthews Band the last couple of years, which that's another group I love. I've seen them in concert like 40 times or something, but definitely pick yourself some Bella Fleck and Fleck Tunes. Up next. Up next is our boy Stan Getz, The Best of Both Worlds. And you can see this is some of the music he did with Jao Gilberto, but it's not always the usual stuff. You know, of course we know Double Rainbow, Waters of March. Let's see if that goes. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see if that yeah, This is nice. So this is definitely a great CD. Stan Getz, Jao Gilberto. Stan Getz, The Best of Two Worlds. Up next. This is Mr. Andy Summers. Of course, we know Andy, the guitarist from The Police. This is a solo project he did called Peggy's Blues Skylight. And it's kind of like, I don't know, acoustic blues. No, excuse me, I'm sorry. I think it's more like jazz. It is a little bluesy. Mostly it's more like acoustic jazz, electric jazz, good compositions and stuff. I don't think Andy gets enough credit for being a good guitar player, but this is a very good CD. So this is Andy Summers, Peggy Blues Skylight. Up next. Ella Fitzgerald and Duke Ellington. Ella at Duke's Place. Great CD and stuff. This is fantastic. I think it was made like in 65 or in the late 60s or something on the verb label. So this is a great CD and stuff. Ella, Duke. I love that picture of them. They look so nice together there. <laughs> so definitely Ella Fitzgerald and Duke Ellington. Ella at Duke's Place. Up next. Mark Maffler. Sailing to Philadelphia, of course we know Mark from Dire Straits. This is one of his solo albums that he did. Came out years ago. I forgot what year. Who cares? But um this is a great CD. I like Mark Knopfler, I like his voice, and I like the way he plays. This is a great CD, so definitely check it out. Next one needs no introduction, I'll just show it. Of course, our boys return to forever, romantic warrior, classic gin itself. Enough said, nothing else to be said. We all have that in our collections, right? Up next, this is Money Only Money Waters, Blue Sky. This is a great album and stuff. I got this for like two bucks and stuff for used record store. So, definitely all you blues guys, definitely pick this up. Money Waters, Blue Skies, of course, it has to have. I can't be satisfied, of course. But I think none of us are really satisfied, so, but definitely check this out. Up next, have our boys, The Intruders. The best the intruders from Cowboys to Girls. Great singing group. I love the intruders. They could sing so well. This, love, this is a great CD. There's a lot of tracks on there. I got this for like two bucks. So definitely the intruders from Cowboys to Girls. Up next. This is this is Jane Burnett and the Spirits of Havana, Retimo Plasso. She's a female saxophone player. You can see her holding the saxophone there. And mostly she does like a lot of Latin rhythm stuff with a lot of Latin. Sometimes she does Latin stuff with big band, but this is definitely it's good Latin soul. It's very it's kind of Havana, a lot of Cuban music, so definitely check this out. Alright guys, gotta fix myself there. Up next, we only Keith Jarrett, Colin Concert. One of my favorite CDs of Keith Jarrett. I love his early stuff. I like his Afro there. I don't think I need to grow an afro just like that. I look cool if I had an afro. <laughs> but this is definitely one of my best Keith Jarrett CDs. Uh, well, you guys should definitely have that in your collection. Keith Jarrett, Colin Concert. Damn, to my surprise. Here's enough of Keith Jarrett. This is Changeless. 
It has Keith Jarrett on piano, Gary Peacock on bass, and Jack DeJanet on drums. This is a fantastic CD. I think it was recorded live, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure where, but definitely. And that's kind of nice. Oh, just a nice little semicircle in there. But definitely Keith Jarrett ch chainless of mix. When you order Mr. Walter Trout. This isn't Tyler Living Every Day. Um, Walter is very good. He's like electric blues. Strong's got a real gruff, real strong voice. But definitely check this guy out, Walter Trout. Living Every Day. Good electric blues, Texas style. Up next. This is good. This is interesting. The Rashi Ali Quartet, New Directions and Minor Music. I love this CD. Even though there's only two pieces on there, but you can see they're over like 20, like about 20, 23, 21 minutes long. Really kind of avant-garde kind of stuff because there's like conga drums and flute, bass, violin, piano. So if you guys know any Rashi Ali Quartet, definitely check this out. Up next, it's our boy, Jao Gilberto. This is Jao Voez Viola, I think that's how they pronounce it. I'm not very good at that, guys. But this is Jao Gilberto right there. And I just, oops, oh, sorry about that, guys. And I just love her with the, and I, and I love that cover with the lady putting her lips to her mouth. So this is definitely good, Jao Gilberto, to Granddaddy Brazil. This guy, for your world music. This is Tito Paris, live in live in Lisbon. Um, he's like he was born in Cape in Cape Verde, so, so that's the kind of artist he is. He's a guitar player, a composer, and a singer. But definitely check this guy out, Tito Paris, live in Lisbon. Great. Up next, our boy BB King. Live in Japan. I love this CD. And it's funny, when I first bought this, I haven't seen the CD around since. Uh, I don't know, it'd be great if, if I mean, if you guys had this on mine. I'd like to see that. <laughs> if you could. BB King, Live in Japan. Great. Has Every Day I Have the Blues. How Blue Can You Get? Um, You're Still My Woman, Change and Things, which is great. He does a great like jam with the band on that song. But definitely, BB King, Live in Japan. Up next. This is a singer named Natasha Atlas. This is Halem. She's actually also a belly dancer. Yeah, I'm not sure what country she's from and stuff. I can't remember, but she's good. She's a singer. And she's also a belly dancer. I've actually saw her like years ago. A friend of mine took me to see her in New York. She it was on, but I never see a woman move around like that and dance at the same time. And she sings mostly in her native language. Sometimes she does, you know, stuff in English. But you guys should definitely look into her, Natasha Atlas. Up next, Marissa Monte. This is entitled, what is this? Rose and Charcoal. She's also a Brazilian singer. Very good. She has a real nice, mellow, mellow voice and stuff. Reminds me a little bit of early um, Esther Gilberto and stuff, but she has a kind of unique sound. But definitely check this out, Marissa Monte. Up. This is Daniela Mercury. I think she's from, I don't know if she's from India or whatever, I'm not sure. But she's very famous in her world country. Nice picture of her back there. She sings mostly in her native language, sometimes English, but I love her. Daniela Mercury, definitely check her out for you world music guys. Definitely check that out. Up next, this is Duke Ellington, Afro Enthusiasm Eclipse. This is a suite in eight parts. You see, I love the cover right there, Duke Ellington. Excellent. And it has all the good Cootie Williams, Paul Gonzalez, who we all know, Rufus Jones, Chuck Connors on bass trombone, great stuff. So you see that? That's Duke Ellington, right there. You see that? It's a great piece of music. And of course, gotta have our boy, Billy Cobham, Funky Side of Things. I'll recommend that one to Jim and the Misses. I know they picked up Spectrum, so if you guys want another one for Billy, definitely check that one out. With that cover, you couldn't forget it, right? But they cop him, the funky side of things. Great. Next up. Oops, sorry, guys. This is, oops, sorry. That's Lee written on Dave Grusin, Two Worlds. Mostly this is their interpretations of pieces they wrote themselves, but mostly their classical pieces, which is kind of interesting. And Renee Fleming, the soprano, sings on about three of these tracks. This is really interesting when I brought this. I was very impressed to see these two guys do that kind of work. So this is Lee Rittenau and Dave Grusin, Two Worlds. 
up next. This is a box that I have. This is in here. This is years of the Dusha gramophone. This is a six CD set. One of the best in classical music there. And it has some of everybody on here. It's just such great stuff. They have another box set where the box set is red and then those numbers there are yellow. I hope to get that one someday, but definitely years of chiffon. I think of our boy Blake when I put that up there. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Next, we have Chuck Jackson and Maxine Brown, original Lawn Masters, a super hit. Remind me a little bit of Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, those guys. And stuff. So I think they were, I think on Chuck Jackson was maybe in the 50s or 60s. Great. Reminds a little bit of Sam Cooke, that kind of sound and stuff. But definitely check out if you guys have no Chuck Jackson. Definitely check that out. Oh, and here's another one. Here's another Chuck Jackson. This is him doing solo work and stuff. Same from Chuck Jackson. Great, great early R&B singer. Soul. Up next. And the only Sarah Vaughan, Duke Ellington Songbook, Volume 2. This is a great CD. Sarah Vaughan could still sing as the years progressed. She didn't change a bit. The older, but the women could still sing. So this is like some live performances that they did in September and August in, this, in the late 70s, I think in 79. So this is Sarah Vaughan, Duke Ellington Songbook, Volume 2. And the last one, please, guys, we have the one, the only. Mr. Vladimir Horowitz in the hands of the masters. This is the definitive recording. This is a three CD set. But I'll just show you guys the open book there. Isn't it great? I think there's another picture there. There we go. There's two. Let's see if I can show the rest. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. This is a great CD set. So definitely. Vladimir Horowitz in the hands of the master. The definitive recording. I love that recording. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for today. Um, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. If you like, please subscribe right down there below. And leave me comments. I appreciate all of them. So imparting, love, peace, soul, keep the music playing. BC community, I love you. Take care of yourself, guys.